big pharma. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words, the words. What if you had it in your power to rid the world of disease? What fun, boys. To improve the lives of millions, to ease suffering and cure the sick, and earn a tidy profit. As the head of your own pharmaceutical conglomerate, you have this power resting in your hands. Will you use it for good? Or will you do what every f***er else in the world does and just make drugs for the people who are dying and say, Right, sell your f***ing house or you can't have the c***t. Sorry, that, that's not actually in the... I just added that bit. So what is this? Well, it's a puzzle game. This is a puzzle game where you run your own pharmaceutical business. But it's more than a puzzle game. It's also a business management game. First of all, it's not early access. This game is, is finished. It has a lot of options for play. There's free mode. You can Basically, to cut a long story short with the options, you can pretty much totally customise your gameplay experience from going through missions to go through challenges uh, to have a free mode where you can just disable a lot of stuff that you found a bit annoying. You can make the game as easy or as hard as you want. You can set up your competitors because uh, you, you're not the only pharmaceutical company out there. There are other pharmaceutical companies out there who are also trying to compete in the market. There's, there's industrial espionage, there's patents. You can patent the drug so that they can't actually copy it exactly like you and they might have to do more research to get around that. But how the game, the core of the game works is a, it's a bloody head scratcher. It really is. It has you sitting thinking and you're thinking, my goodness, how am I gonna how am I gonna get an erection cream going on there that doesn't also have the side effect of sending them to fucking sleep? It's got a steep learning curve, but it has a brilliant tutorial in it if you put the hours into it. Um, it's not easy. I found it kind of I was like eh, what I've, I've put them in great what I've gotta do this, I've gotta use this machine. What what what? You know what was it was a bit of that it was I was confused for at least three hours in playing this, but now it's kind of come clear that what you have to do is each drug belongs to an ingredient, so you have to get the ingredients first. You hire explorers to go out into the far reaches of the world to find these little bugs or little bits of bacteria that you can experiment on to change into a drug and you have a lot of machines that you need to research by employing scientists and you can research different machines that do all kinds of strange stuff there's a hard-on collider uh, sorry a hadron collider or something like that where you do stuff with see I know what I'm doing guys I've decided to go live to actually show you how you create drugs that you can sell it's much easier for me to do it live so this video might be a bit longer than normal but you need to see this because if you don't like what you're gonna see you don't want to be buying the game because this is how you do everything so we're gonna select a custom game and I'm gonna turn off uh, I'll just turn off patents I'll just show you how we do that there it goes patents there because I'm not gonna get that far because I'm just actually gonna show you how to make a pill and I'll select him I've named me company Wab and this is the area that I have to start with but if I zoom out you can see you can buy a lot more more land the first thing I'm gonna do is go to ingredients it's a great UI it's, it's excellent UI I have you get two available when you start the game unless you customize it for have more what I have is frozen trint there whatever the hell and what this does it has this four areas of effect here of each drug if each drug seems to have four areas this one only has two that you can see so the other two are empty but there are four there's one there one there I don't know if you can see it there's that one there and there's that one there so at the moment this will soothe cold but cause a headache this stuff over here increases blood pressure but soothes a cough so as you can see you kind of have a cure and a side effect and that's the way it is with most drugs the reason you have four areas here is because you can swap out stuff if you have the right machines I could take out that actual causes headache and put something else in that might be a positive I don't know like soothes cold symptoms and gives you a stiffy no Mac. but you know I could bring in a, a positive there so there's lots you can do you can manipulate the drugs to do your bidding my master but I'm going to keep it simple to show you the basics of the game. So we're going to choose one. We'll go with um, 
we'll go with this. We'll make a, a soothes cold. So we're going to import this. So we'll click import. And I'm going to put it here into this area and import it into either of these. One's import and the other one is to export it. So I'm going to import the drug there. And in order for me to develop this drug into a, a working tablet, I have got to get, you see that white bar? And there's a white bar at the bottom, the parallel with each other. I have to move that bar. I have the ability to move that anywhere I want. Now, in order for this to be a tablet for soothing cold symptoms, you can see the green area there. That is the area of effect for soothing a cold. So I have to move that white marker one up to the right. What this all represents is the concentration level of the drug. So the current concentration level does nothing. It doesn't cause any positive or negative. But if I move it one more concentration to the right, it will become a soothing cold symptom and it will not cause headaches. If I move it two to the right, not only will it still soothe the cold, but it'll also cause headaches. So I don't want to do that. So I want to move this drug concentration level up one. So to do that, go to basic. I have an evaporator which increases concentration by one or a dissolver that decreases. Obviously, I want to use an evaporator. So I'm going to bring a conveyor belt out and we'll put that there. And I'll select the evaporator to increase the concentration. You can see where the drug goes in. So I pretty much want the evaporator about, let's see, uh, I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to put another conveyor belt there. The drug's going into the evaporator now and you'll watch when it goes in. The evaporator does its stuff and if i click on the evaporator i can see what it's doing to the drug and you can see that that has now moved one to the right and this is all lit up for the soothes cold symptoms and the headaches moved one to the right but it's not quite in the red yet so it's not causing a headache so that's a great drug to develop so i'm going to go to my makers and click on pill printer and i'm going to put a pill printer there and i'm going to set up a conveyor belt and i'm going to actually make that into a drug and I'll conveyor belt it into there. Now what will happen now is the refined drug will come across in here and it'll come out as a tablet. Costs another 20, but when it comes out the other end, you will see that it is now a tablet and I will have to name Product my drug. Required. So let's click on this. Well, it soothes cold. What is your product to be called? A WAB cold beater? No, no, no. WAB no more sissy colds. If anyone who has tablets for a colds, a right f***ing Nancy boy sissy. And that's going out the door and all the sissies are buying it and it's, I'm making 110. Now, here's the thing guys. If I click on cures, there's my little drug. See it? Soothes cold. It's actually at work there. And what I can do with that is I can develop that even more. Because if you look down here, the arrow, the progression, it can turn into an antibiotic. Now, I'll get a hell of a lot more money if it's an antibiotic. So I want to refine that a bit more. It says upgrade with an agglomerator, whatever one of them is. So I have to have one of them machines to upgrade it. And I also have to have the pre-requirements of the drug to be within the four or eight, four to eight concentration. Well, at the minute, it's only at... Well, let's have a look. It's at one, two, three. It's at three. So we just need to move it to there and then upgrade it. So that's easy to do. We can upgrade it by putting on another one of these. But we also need that other machine, the Agglomerator. There it is there. We don't own that. It's grayed out. So what you do, go to research, hire a scientist, and then select Agglomerator. If it says there, it'll take three months. He's on that now. But we need to see what that does as well, obviously. Uh, let's see what the aglomerator does. It increases the concentration by three. But also as well, we need to we'll go back to the cures and have a look at the upgrade. It needs to be in the four to eight. So we're going to throw that into the four straight away by uh, taking the drug and putting it through another one of these evaporators. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's grab an evaporator. And if we put the evaporator... No, we don't want it there. We want it there, really. Up there. Let's try that. Now, I'm going to just bring a belt off this. 
watch how clever the game is here. It'll split it. It'll send one that way and then one this way. You can see there's a bit of a queue here at the pill maker because it's coming through this faster than it's going through the pill press. Roughly about twice as fast. So I could get away with another pill press. So I'm going to make another pill maker while I'm at it. And I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to expand that a bit from there. And then I'm going to just put that under there. So now we're going to be making these at twice the speed. That's staying there because this production area has stopped. Because I do not have the Aguilera machine. And if I look at the research, that's going to take another two months. So I'll be back in two months. So let's go to production and let's buy the new machine. So there it is. Now, uh, oh, perfect. We're going to put it, we'll just put it there. And we'll bring out the, the drug and it's, we'll send it in there to be upgraded. And then we'll, I'll leave it there until you see that actually happen. All right, we'll click on the machine. And there you go. Now you can see that the machine has upgraded that and now we have the symptoms as uh, antibiotic the, the symptoms the, the drug can now be used as an antibiotic however in order to make this an antibiotic we have got to increase the concentration again by one two three four five but if we increase it by six we will take it out of the headache realm so i'm going to increase it by six and to do that, I'm going to need two more of these machines. Now, because I've made that in a bit of a bad place, I'm going to double click on it and just move it. And I'll delete these. And we're going to put this pretty much there. Watch, see the line going up by three? Now, I need to do that one more time. So, one more of these machines. Now, as you can see, we're pretty much running out of room. So, I'm going to buy into this area here. Because it looks really nice. We've got lots of yeah. So another one of them algorithm machines. And we're gonna put this one over here. Nicely tucked into the corner. We'll bring the conveyor belt round and down there. Now I'm gonna make three pill two pill makers for this. And we're gonna put them uh, here and here, like that. And then I'm gonna put the conveyor belt into that one into that one into that and into that and there we go and you'll see when it comes in there this is now an antibiotic and it causes no headaches it's a very pure drug will make me a fortune guys they are basic things i mean if you look at some of the advanced machines a hadron collider you've got a sequencer ultraviolet cura cura chromatopathy whatever that You've got auxiliary things, you've got a multi-mixer, you've got an analyzer, and an analyzer analyzes the drug and tells you how you can get it to its most potent form. Because this drug that we are manufacturing here isn't at its most potent self. If I was to have an analyzer and send that chemical, that raw chemical through, it would be a, I could get it a hell of a lot better than that. I hope that gives you an idea of how you go about making the drugs. This is where the puzzle elements come in. Um, you've got to work out a lot of stuff as to how you're going to make a production line big enough and long enough to be able to do all the various concentration and upgrade levels. There's also catalysts that come into it where you need to add an extra ingredient to make the desired drug re react the way it will. So you have to bring in other mixing machines and things like that. It gets extremely complicated as you go further and deeper into the game, but that's where the big books are. And if you want to earn the big books, you've got to make the big super drugs. And that's what the game's all about and you've got competitors doing exactly the same thing at the same time you don't know what drugs they're working on they might not even be working on the same drug as you which is good for you but they may be and you may be really spending a good amount of time researching your particular drug throwing it through an analyzing machine to find out how potent to get it researching new machines to get the desired um, concentration levels that you want of the drug and plowing a lot of money and work and time into getting this drug just right and then just before you release it you get a notice saying that your competitors have done exactly the same thing and they've just beaten you to it and it's so freaking annoying because you kind of 
just about to hit the world with your super duper drug and someone's beat you to it that's where the patents come in um, but I kind of disable them uh, it's just my thing I don't like the pins so that's the game loads of machines to play around with loads of different drugs to discover and it's fun it's great fun it's a it's not a game that you can play in an hour this is like deep deep stuff you will play it for hours and hours and hours and it's a great fun game i really enjoy it it's not what i thought it was when i first saw it and i must admit after two hours of playing i was ready to just pack it in i was just like oh i can't do this this is so hard i found it very hard at first but once you've done the tutorials and there's loads of them you get the idea and it's great fun I think the fact that I was able to make some keep it up cream and it's selling well is going to just tip this over into the thumb up. Not that I need keep it up cream. Mac. Mac, you've said it now. I don't, honestly, guys. I, I really don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not. I, I can keep it up. I can keep it up. Sometimes. If I try hard, Mac, just don't.